Good Shepherd. Name sounds familiar. Catholic Agency? Yeah, I'm calling him right now. This is Detective Ray Curtis of the 27th Precinct. I've got some information about someone, a minor. I believe he may be a client of yours. Name's Aaron Bauer. Yes, old. Wait a minute. That's that guy. What's his name? Montrose. Montrose? Huh? Stefan Montrose. He's the director down there. Wrote that book that made a big splash last spring. Um, the Empty High Chair. Sure. I've seen him on talk shows. He's always going on about... About how the child welfare system breaks up families and needs to be reformed from the top down. His agency's been getting tons of good press. And we'll need the boy's case file as well. Thanks a lot. Kid lived with his mother. Caseworker said she could arrange a meeting at the agency in three hours. Well, this ought to be pleasant. The Shepherd Agency. That's Aaron, all right. You're the caseworker? From the start. Who are they? This is Detective Briscoe and Detective Curtis. Cops? You didn't tell me there was going to be cops here. Sit down, Mrs. Bauer. Got some bad news. Mrs. Bauer, there, there's no easy way to say this. I'm afraid your son Aaron is dead. <laughs> nah, he's just messing with you. He's playing possum. He always does that. He makes believe. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bauer. We found his body last night. Severe head trauma. Um, we're afraid Give that... me a break, okay? Where is he, really? You just want to put him back in City Youth Home. That place is a hellhole! We're trying to figure out who did this to him. And we need you to answer some questions. Yeah? Shoot. Ah. She's up for some questions. Uh, when did you last see Can him? Can you tell us when you last saw Aaron? If you can remember. He was gone when I woke up. I don't know. Probably off at the arcade. I was sleeping late, so sue me, right? <laughs> last night was New Year's Eve. We know, but when did you see your son? Nine o'clock. That's his bedtime. I tucked him in. Uh... Well, wasn't he killed about eight? Yeah, he was killed about eight. Mrs. Bauer, Aaron was killed at eight. I told you, that's just pretend. Right. Talk about his backpack. We found your son's backpack, and that's what led us to you. Some items in it lead us to suspect that he was involved in criminal activities. Bullshit! My Aaron's a good boy. He ain't the type to do drugs. Something suspicious about her statement. Uh, well, he's, he's not doing drugs himself, but... He could be getting them for her. He didn't even mention drugs. We didn't say anything about drugs. Let's talk about the beating. Is there anyone who wished your son harm who might have beat him? Oh, he's gonna get a beating, I tell you what. He knows damn well what comes of pulling stunts like this. Yeah, he's gonna get it good. Mrs. Bauer, did Aaron have any enemies? Enemies? No! He's... he's just a kid. Response set with a question. Uh, not really. She might not know everybody, but there we are. All kids have enemies. 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 A statement implies she's beaten Aaron in the past. Said that Aaron spoke of having enemies. Backpack contained threatening letter. Well, I don't remember that. She's beaten him in the past. Wait a minute. You ain't New York City cops at all. No. You're from Russell County. What are you... You bastard! You... Goddamn kidnappers ain't gonna get away with this! You're not taking him again! I'll kill you! What's going on here? He's my baby! 
He's my baby. You my don't have baby. to stand for this, Mrs. Bauer. No. Of course. Does she want to see him? Stefan Montrose, General Director of Good Shepherd. Would you mind explaining what just happened at my office? You just interfered with the murder investigation. Yeah, you did. Is Jenna Bauer a suspect? Jenna Bauer is the mother. Oh, I see. Look, detectives. This agency was set up to serve the needs of at-risk families. Those whom the other agencies have abandoned to poverty well, and addiction. Well, you could take her off your family book now. But do you? You just come steamrolling in and hit one of my clients with about the most devastating news you can imagine. But instead of leaving her to her grief, you turn around and give her the third degree, like she was a common criminal. Not in my office, detectives. Not here. I'm sorry you don't approve of our technique, Dr. Montrose, but... I'm familiar with the boy's case history. I can answer your questions. All right. Mr. Nobody in particular. Aaron was involved in some shady business. There were drugs in his backpack. Crystal meth. Is there any possibility that he or his mother... No. Our clients don't abuse drugs. <laughs> uh, clients are a bunch of tweakers. Oh. Mrs. Toe stated that the thief was high on something. Montrose has already stated that many of his clients have been addicts. Uh, a thief was saying something. I don't. I don't remember her saying that. But I think I'll go with that. Ah, missed that. Right. Let's do uh, Russell Kelly. What was Mrs. Bauer yelling about when you came in? Something about us being from uh, Russell County. Come to take her kid. Mm, can't help you with that one. My knowledge of the Bowers only goes back two years. That's when they arrived in New York. Jenna was living on the street when Good Shepherd first intervened, about six months later. The legal machine had shunted the boy off to City Youth Hall. We successfully fought to get mother and son back together. So you see, Jenna Bauer does have some cause for feeling less than friendly toward the police. Uh, yeah. No reason to doubt that. Uh, how so? The caseworker says she had known the Bowers for a year and a half. Nah! She said right from the start, I suppose. Damn it. When's the last time the Bowers caseworker paid a visit, do you know? Of course. Miss Schuyler filed a visitation report on Christmas Day. We'll need to see the case Christmas file, of course. Day. I'm sorry, that's not possible. This is a murder investigation, Says she filed a report on that day. The files contain saw some him that sensitive day. material from several years ago, in another state. I assure you, nothing remotely relevant to the current tragedy. Uh, he said he knew nothing before New York. Now he's saying that there was... Um, Earlier he said that he knew nothing of the Bowers' life before they came to New York. Now he's saying that the file contains all the history from an, uh, earlier. I thought you didn't know anything about the Bowers before they came to New York. Nothing relevant, I meant. Am I a suspect now, too? <sighs> you know when someone's lying when they twist the subject around to make you feel guilty? Dr. Montrose, I've got to insist that you follow procedure and turn over the Bower case file. You should have called ahead, Detective. Procedure dictates that you give us at least two hours advanced warning. This is a valid objection. No! Oh, I've only got one more strike. Oh, no. What does this miss his no knowledge? Curtis did request to fight. No. The nature of the case allows Briscoe and Curtis to bypass procedure. Procedure only applies to caseworkers not agency directors. Um, he didn't phone the agency. Yeah, he did phone the agency. I put in a request when I phoned the caseworker. Well, I wasn't informed. Oh, Why are you putting up you? roadblocks? 
partner with us here. Sorry, but I know what happens when you partner with the city. They tell you they're only going to see that you follow state guidelines, but it's really a pretext for legal action. They'd love to take Good Shepherd away from me. Well, I thought Good Shepherd was run by so the Archdiocese. So what about you now, is The it? same goes double for them. I stay away from all bureaucrats, sacred and secular. You know we can get a court order. You can, but you won't. I've fought the city many times, Detective. It's a powerful adversary, but it hates to look bad in public. I know how to make it look bad. That's how I've bought the space to run my agency my way. Your private kingdom. Call it what you will. Huh. On the evidence, I'm not so sure Mrs. Bauer should have had custody. Do you always blame the parent for their child's death, Detective? Or only when the parent is poor? Now wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. Oh, he's got a bit of People a like Jenna Bauer have had it hard enough in New York just getting by. It doesn't help when the city's guardians look at them like they were moral degenerates. Are there good reasons to question whether Jenna Bauer was an unfit guardian? Go She talked about beating Aaron, and she seemed to know he was transporting drugs. Yeah. Uh, unfit girl wanted some to take Aaron. No. That one. First one. She practically bragged that she beat the kid. You're mistaken, Detective. All of our clients are given intensive training in positive parenting. Right. So tell me, why did Miss Bauer have such a big problem with cops? You want to hear about Jenna Bauer's problem with cops? Cops killed Aaron's father. Narco squad kicked down their door in the middle of the night. Started tearing the place apart looking for contraband. When Mr. Bauer stepped forward to defend his home, they shot him. Just another casualty of the drug war. So can you blame Mrs. Bauer for thinking maybe the story was repeating itself? What? I just had an enlightening conversation with the sheriff of Russell County, Kansas. Yeah. He told me about the drug bust that killed Aaron's dad. Apparently, they found three pounds of meth in the house. That's a relevant fact. Wonder if it's in the Bauer's case file. You really think mom's the killer? I hope my hunch is wrong, but uh, yeah, I do. You better hope your hunch is right. Montrose has himself a big megaphone, and he's been making a lot of noise about how you roughed up his client. What's your plan? Subpoena the boy's files? Maybe, but first, I think we need to pay Mrs. Bauer a visit. Can we get a search warrant, just in case? The press is still giving us grief over the way we fumbled the preppy jogger case. They're gonna crucify us if you break into this apartment and come up empty. I hope you know what you're doing. Brickyard Terrace Apartments. Couldn't make it sound any worse. NYPD, open up! Mrs. Bauer, if you don't let us in, we're gonna have to force the door. Wow. Oh, man. What a wreck. If yeah, we're lucky, she won't come back and make a scene. Can she afford electric? I wouldn't worry about that. Uh-oh. Oh, hell. Dead? Very. I've ah, Call dispatch. Yeah, yeah, this is Briscoe. We're on the scene at the Bauer residence, and we're gonna need an ME. Uh, looks like a 10109. Yeah, right. Lights don't work. No heat, either. I'm guessing the electricity's been cut off. I wonder how long. Wasn't Good Shepherd supposed to take care of this kind of thing? We've got two victims now. Let's get a better picture of how they died, and how they lived. Right. Here we go. Uh, evidence of drug use, Jenna's cause of death, source of income, Aaron's cause of death. Oh. Meth pipe. It looks like Mom had a bad habit. Guess we know who Aaron was bringing the candy for. And knowing meth addicts, I can imagine she wasn't too compassionate when he came home without it. Right. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Um, what we got? 
got here? Nothing of significance, I don't think. Not that I can see. What's that? Somebody paid Jenna Bauer a thousand bucks back in April. New Directions Holding Company. I have a feeling thousand dollar checks didn't show up in her mailbox all that often. Nah. I wonder how she scored this one. Yeah. And also, where did it go? I bet she didn't keep it all. Um, uh, what else? Ah, oh, this little jacket. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing on it for evidence then. What about this? What's this? Vodka bottle's empty. And so's a bottle of Xanax. I think we found our cause of death. Oh. So what are we looking for now? What's this one? Heron's cause of death. Uh, heavy objects. Well, not heavy object. Um, this one? No. What about this? I wonder how this fell over. Mrs. Talus's Statue of Liberty clock. It's got blood on it. Yeah. Can we pick it up? Damn it, Lenny. Look, right there. Blood. Blood. I can guess whose. The poor kid comes home with this crap and she beats him with it. Hmm. Satisfied? Yeah, I think our killer's gonna miss her date in court. You think she overdosed on purpose? Out of guilt? Maybe. She's a junkie, Ray. Don't I hurt don't yourself trying to figure it. it out. I think it was all planted. Well, what do you know? Emmy? Uh-uh. It's the caseworker from Good Shepherd. And she's knocking on the wrong door. Oh, hey, miss! Uh, the party's down here! Detective Briscoe? What are you doing? Oh my god! It's Mrs. Bauer! I'm afraid so. Tell me, did the place look like this on Christmas Day? Well, how should I know? Isn't that what? the date of your last visit? My last visit? No, it's when she made the I report. I wasn't here on Christmas. Oh. I'd better call the office about this. Uh-oh. Dr. Montrose? Y yeah, I'm, I'm at the apartment. There's, there's something you should know. Ah. Knocking on the wrong door. Officer District Attorney. The Bauer case. Isn't it time we close the file on that one? Uh, I'd love to, believe me, but justice hasn't been done. Poetic justice, maybe. Nobody comes away from this one looking good. Including us. What Detective Curtis is saying is, we think you've got a case against the Good Shepherd Agency. Against Stefan Montrose, you mean? The champion of the downtrodden? Are you saying he's the killer? No, but his agency failed to prevent the deaths. We feel he's responsible. Oh, great. Go ahead, I'm listening. Tell me why we should go after Montrose. Ah, uh, he stonewalled them. Put Aaron in danger. Failed to monitor the situation. That Law one. says a child welfare agency's got to check in with clients regularly. And Good Shepherd didn't? Nope. Do you have reason to believe Good Shepherd failed to supervise? Montrose claims the caseworker made a Christmas visit, but she seems to have no memory of it. Apparently not. She drew a blank when we asked about her last visit. And Montrose himself basically admitted that he ignores state procedure. 
Are we going to stand by and let our social service agencies go rogue? Jack, we don't have a case against him. Not yet. Let's see what's in those case files. Yes. No red herrings.